So for the last few weeks I've been posting some pictures on Instagram with uncolored background and quite a lot of saturation on the cars. I noticed that these pictures are getting quite a lot of likes and also I got some messages from you guys. So today I'm gonna show you how to do it and it's easier than you think. So first things first, you need to download the preset that you can find in the description of this video. Original idea was to have it for myself, but uh, yeah, maybe someone will find it useful. So as I mentioned, you can download it from the link in the description of this video. And when you have it, let's get to the Lightroom. So what we do here, first uh, we need to import the preset and we can do that on the develop tab, then find presets, press the plus, import presets. And from the preset that you just downloaded, since I'm already have, since I already have it, so I don't need to import, but uh, yeah, that's what you need to do. And when you find a picture, I already sorted out some of them. So you press on the preset that you just downloaded and it's gonna get applied. The most important thing is to fix the exposure and the color temperature if needed, of course. So as you can see here, we have quite a lot of masks that I created and it's uh, for different elements of the car and also the background. So first we make sure that car is selected properly. We can press show overlay so we can see if it's selected or not. The same in the background. Uh -huh. It looks quite okay. Maybe we can try to change the temperature of this car to be a little bit more wide. There we go. Then this one on the cars should go all the way around the car. So it will pop out a little bit more. Then we have the mask that named rims. So we can zoom in a little bit. Not that much maybe. About 200. Oh. 100 should be okay. And you can either choose brush or objects. Most of the time, so objects works fine. Mark the rims. Bingo. Add one more. Bingo. Next, this mask is used for the sky. I normally make the sky a bit brighter and the part of the track a bit darker. We can adjust this one as well. Maybe a bit lower so it doesn't go in the car. And then I have the, the, the mask for the grills and lights. So also we can add as object or brush, depends on you. I'll do like this, and a little bit here. What it does, it increases the exposure of the selected elements, so it pops out a little bit and in overall it looks way better than before. Like this, and this. The last mask is car details, so maybe we will uh, pop this ultra post, intra post the side doors. Let's use the brush. Like this. Yeah. And maybe a little bit increase on exposure of the car. And that's it. Let's take another picture, this time with two cars. Again, select the preset, cars are selected great. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna decrease the exposure of the entire picture by a little bit. I will fix this one to cover both of the cars since I want to keep them as the subjects both together. Since we don't have sky, 
we will make these rocks a little bit brighter on the top like that at the bottom we're gonna decrease the exposure like that a little bit better. like this rims we're gonna select rims for both of the cars even though for this one it's just a little bit visible that make it pop out. Also, over here. And here. And maybe here. So with this preset all what you need to do is just to add the objects or brush masks to the mask that I created. And basically that's it. Fix the exposure, fix the white balance, and one more thing. It was raining and it was sunny when I captured this one. So for example I will use the car details mask to decrease the exposure on the parts where the sun's falling down like this not too much like that and maybe I will add some one more grill slice mask on the here and And basically that's it, Add, adding some part of the cars to the masks, adjusting the exposure, color temperature and voila, you are done. I hope you liked this video and let me know in the comments if you want to see more content like this. It's still a few months until the new season of the drifting, so I can make more videos and tutorials for you guys. Either way, that's been it, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. I'm already editing the video and I forgot to say one thing. Please subscribe to the channel, it means a lot for me. Thank you. Bye.